All right, so we're solving a trig equation here of a particular form, sine or cos or tan of ax plus b equals c. Uh, now, the general idea here is that I'm going to let that thing equal something else, just say let it equal theta, and then solve that, and then uh, convert it back to 2x plus pi on 3. But there is a little bit of a wrinkle in that, so I'm going to erase that and then we'll get started. Now, as I said before, I'm going to let uh, 2x plus pi on 3 equal theta, and that will lead to me having a much simpler equation, sine theta equals 1 half to solve. But this also affects my domain, because now I'm not going to be solving, I'm not going to be solving theta in the same domain as I'm solving x. So uh, think about it this way. Uh, negative pi equals x, or is less than x, which is less than 2 pi. All right, so far so good. But I'm not solving for x, I'm solving for theta, so I need to convert x into theta. Now theta is 2x plus pi on 3, and I can convert x into 2x plus pi on 3 by first multiplying it by 2. Now if I multiply that by 2, I'm going to have to multiply everything else by 2. And by then adding pi on 3 to it, Uh, 4 pi plus pi on 3, and negative 2 pi plus pi on 3. Alright, um, now obviously I can simplify this thing on the left, and I can simplify this thing on the right as well. Uh, so 4 pi is the same as um, 12 pi on 3, plus pi on 3, that's 13 pi on 3. And uh, negative 2 pi is the same as um, 6 pi on 3 plus pi on 3 is negative 5 pi on 3. And I suppose 2x plus pi on 3 is theta. Alright, all of that is to say that when I solve this equation, uh, sorry, when I solve this equation, I'm going to have to solve it between those bounds. All right, um, now that shouldn't be too hard. I've got my circle here, uh, one half, if I draw my little unit circle, one, two, uh, sine, so it's opposite, so it's going to be this one here, pi on six, um, and it's positive, so it's going to be in this quadrant and this quadrant. So, my answers are going to be, whew, okay, uh, negative 5 pi on 3, let's see, pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3, 5 pi on 3. All right, I passed through one of those there, uh, so my negative answer is going to be negative 7 pi on 6. So theta equals negative 7 pi on 6. That's my only negative answer. Now, my positive answer, uh, 13 pi on 3. All right, so let's think here. Pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3, 5 pi on 3, 6 pi on 3, 7 pi on 3, 8 pi on 3, 9 pi on 3, 10 pi on 3, 11 pi on 3, 12 pi on 3, 13 pi on 3. All right, so I've got to go around once. So I get two answers, four answers, and a fifth answer. So I'm going to get... Uh, pi on 6, um, uh, pi on 6, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi on 6, uh, 12 pi on 6, 13 pi on 6, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pi on 6, okay, and uh, 12 pi on 6, 24 pi on, 25 pi on 6. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six answers. Six answers for theta, uh, but I don't want to know theta, I want to know x. So of course that means you have six more equations to do because you're going to have to convert each of these answers to uh, an answer for x, not an answer for theta. So if theta equals negative 7 pi on 6, then 2x plus pi on 3 equals negative 7 pi 
on 6, or pi on 6, or 5.6, or 13.6, or this one, or this one. All right, let's just solve this first one here. Uh, 2x equals negative 7 pi on 6 um, minus, I'll convert pi on 3 into 2 pi on 6, minus 2 pi on 6, uh, which means that 2x equals negative 9 pi on 6, uh, but if I divide by 2 at the same time, I can get uh, 12. Which means that x is equal to negative 9 pi on 12, which of course, uh, have I run out of room? I've run out of room. Uh, which of course is equal to negative 3 pi on 4. Okay, now I've got five more to do that for. Um, so I'm not going to do those on camera, but you're just solving equations over and over and over again. Uh, the important part of this video really is understanding that if you've got something in a bracket here, ax plus b, um, you can let theta equal that. That's going to affect your domain, so you need to amend your domain by converting x into whatever it is is in the brackets, and then solving for theta, and then re- working it to get x as your final solution. So uh, five more of those to go. Hopefully your domains aren't as large as I've made it in this example. Hopefully there's only three or four to do. Uh, but that is how you solve trig equations of the form sine ax plus b equals c.